How is everybody doing? It's Sean from Double Clutch HD, and I'm coming at you with episode Get number four of my pitching franchise here on MLB 14 The Show it's with Astros the Houston thing. Astros. Today we're going to be taking on the Oakland Athletics, the and they, are, they aren't off to a good start, but the Astros, on the other hand, have got off to a very stellar start, 15-8 and eight to start out the year. So let's take a look at Bob Melvin's lineup for today. It is Ryan Robert Ben Zobrist, Nelson Cruz, Juan Francisco, Luke Roy Cabrera, Jorge Soler, Carlos Santana, and Michael Saunders. And they're going to be facing off against Garrett Cole, the young rookie stud. Actually, he's not a rookie. Second-year player um, for the formerly of the Pittsburgh Pirates and now pitching for the Astros. 2-2 two -two count to Ben Zobris, and that's going to be strike three, swinging on the two-seam fastball. And, and that's going to end the inning, basically. So Bull Porter is going to send out this lineup today, and it's going to consist of Ben Revere, Gordon, Panic, Morris, Johnson, Davis, Baldo Queen, Grandal, and Jared Dyson. And they're going to be facing off against C.J. Wilson. 2-1 with a 9.0 ERA. Eesh, that's not good. And uh, here's the, fr here's the second batter of the game, D. Gordon. 1-1 one, one count to him. Going to ground this one past the third baseman for a base hit. So the Astros have something going right here with one man out. Here's Joe Panic, and here's a 3-2 count. And he is going to walk on the slider. He's not in the zone, just a bit outside. And that's going to leave men on first and second. 2-1 count to Michael Morse. And D. Gordon stealing on the play. Actually, the perfect pitch to steal on as it was a curveball. And he's going to get in there safely. So men on the corners with one out. Looks like a prime position to strike right here for the Astros. Morse is going to strike out swinging. Panic was going on the play. And he is going to uh, be thrown out. So it's the old uh, uh, strike him out, throw him out. And that's going to end the inning. Here's Dyson. And what a nasty curveball right there by Wilson. But Garrett Cole is going to respond with a strikeout of his own against Ryan Roberts. So both pitchers are doing extremely well so far. Pretty much on cruise control. Here's Ben Zobrist. 2-2 two -two count. And he's going to strike out again on the fastball. Nothing much he could really do about that one. Just a perfect pitch. Here's Juan Francisco in the fifth inning now. Ben Revere going back on this ball. It is deep off the wall. And it's down in Triples Alley. Yeah, I like to call it the hit Triples Hill. And that's going to be thrown in by Revere. But Francisco's already on his way to home. And he's going to be safe. So, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> we gave up a inside the park home run to Juan Francisco. However, here's Rajai Davis trying to get this team uh, get back to where it was. And that's a nice single right there for Davis. Nice play at short, but not in time, obviously, with Davis's speed. 2-1 count to Roberto, Roberto Baldoquin. And Davis is going. Curveball taken for a strike. However, Davis is in there uh, with a stolen base. So Baldoquin is going to move him over for Yasmani Grandal. 3-2 count. And the pitch. It is swung on and missed. However, the catch is going to throw over the first. And it is dropped. Uh, Davis breaks for home, but he doesn't, uh, he doesn't go either way. He's going to go back to third. And that's going to leave men on first and third with one out for Jared Dyson, who on a 3-2 count, gutsy call right here, gets the bunt down, and he is going to be out. However, the run does score from third, and that's going to mean it is one to one. Garrett Cole trying to get out of a bit of a jam right here, and that is going to be flown out to right field, sky high. Davis is going to get under it, squeeze it, and that is the third out. Uh, so Garrett Cole gets out of a jam right there. Here's Michael Morse, 3-2 count against CJ, and strike out once again, nasty pitch. And that is going to be the end of the sixth inning. Let's move on to the seventh, take a look at the box score. Juan Francisco with the inside the Parker, Rajai Davis with a run, and Garrett Cole, six innings, two hits, and an earned run with eight strikeouts. So Bo Porter is going to call to the bullpen, bring in Jumbo Diaz, 1-1 one one with a 3-6-5 ERA with 11 strikeouts. See what he can do here against Carlos Santana with a man on first. Strike three swinging. And Santana is going to go down. So here's Roberto Baldoquin still facing C.J. Wilson. 2-1 count. And the pitch, it is a drive to right field. And it is gone. Sneaks over the wall. And Roberto Baldoquin delivers a clutch home run right there. 
Bob Melvin is disappointed. And C.J. Wilson looked like he was going to go about seven strong, maybe even eight. However, it looks like his day might be over after giving up that home run to Roberto Baldo Quinn, who has, who has po power uh, for a shortstop. And he did a very good job right there. So here's Jumbo Diaz once again, 3-2 count. Michael Saunders is up, and he is going to take that 90-mile-an-hour circle change for a ball and go on to first with a leadoff walk. However, 2-2 count to Nelson Cruz. He's going to strike out swinging, meaning the threat is over, and that's the end of the top of the eighth. Jose Mijares is going to come on with a 6-7-5 ERA. And here's Jared Dyson. So C.J. Wilson's day is over. He's on the hook for a loss. And Jared Dyson is going to... Oh, he got jammed on that pitch, but he had the strength to lift this one to left field. Thought about second, but he's going to stay on first. So here's Benny Revere <coughs> with a 3-2 count, which means probably Dyson's going to steal. There he goes. Revere uh, lines this one where the shortstop would have been if it hadn't been a hit and run. And that's going to be nice. That's, that's a very nice play by Ben Revere. And that's going to mean there are men on first and third with no men out. Here's D. Gordon right here, 3-1 count, and he's going to uh, swing and miss. However, Revere moves on to second. So after a few, uh, after a few people strike out and stuff, um, there's men on the court uh, uh, everywhere. Base is loaded. However, Chris Johnson is going to bring one in. Here's Rajai Davis, 2-2 two -two count, 3-1 Astros now. Mihar is still on the mound, curveball. Grounded up the middle, and that is going to be misplayed by the second baseman. Should have been inning over. However, it's still bases loaded with another run in. 4-1 to one now. Here's Baldo Queen. He had the home run before. Can he do it again? Let's see about this. That is a hanging curveball. Driven to left field, and it's going to be played off the wall. Two men are in. The third one coming around, and there's no throw to home. Baldo Queen is in at second safely. So, the rookie shortstop... Signed from Cuba just this year has proven to be a valuable commodity for the Astros. Look at this power right here. That was a hanging curveball, and uh, if it was a shortstop, if it was any other shortstop, I would expect that to probably be a flyout. But Baldo Queen just hooks that one, and that's going to bring in a run. Grandal now is, wants to get in on the action. He's going to line this one down the left field line for a base hit. He's heading on the second as well. Great throw at left by Nelson Cruz, but not in time so now here comes nick birdie for the ninth inning eight to one astros now and jorge soler is gonna fly this one out to center field ben revere squeezes it and that's gonna do it so the astros they had a they they gave up they probably panicked after they gave up a home run to juan francisco on an inside the parker but they managed to uh, bring it all back together and Baldo Queen hit a home run, uh, the suicide squeeze by Dyson, and then just an absolute barrage of runs in the eighth inning allowed them to win this game. They could save their save their star save pitcher Addison Reed. So overall, a great game, but you know who the player of the game is going to? Roberto Baldo Queen, well deserved, four RBI on the day, one home run, a double, and two hits and two runs. So a great day for Roberto Baldo Queen and the Astros, and they walk out of here, walk out of Minimade Park with the win. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll have more of this franchise out soon, as as well as my Colts franchise. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and yeah, have a great day, guys. And I will talk to you later.